All right, how's everyone doing? Um, welcome to the Rich Salenza Show. Uh, what what the fuck are you talking about, or WTF you talking about? And uh, I just actually did a video for YouTube on this subject, and I thought I would uh, get a little more detailed on my podcast regarding this subject because I see so many people getting ripped off uh, when it comes to signing up for gyms. There's more gyms popping up than ever, obviously, uh, and I'm not even talking. There's just tons, obviously, 24 Fitness, LA Fitness, and there's still the old school gyms. Um, tons of other gyms out there, obviously, Orange Theory. Uh, and here's the thing. I've been very fortunate. I've been able to work off for most of my entire life. I started, actually, at the age of 12, hardcore, but I was starting at a gym at a YMCA, actually, since I was, like, five years old, but... I have also been able to travel throughout uh, all of North America for the most part, um, almost every city practically, <laughs> or major city in the United States, every state. Uh, I've been to all the major cities in Canada. Um, and I've been very fortunate to also be a member of tons of gyms. That obviously includes LA Fitness, 24 Fitness Golds, Powerhouse, um, World's Gym, uh, Bally, uh, and other gyms as well, local gyms. And the price actually for a gym is pretty comparable over the years from what I'm seeing. But what's going on, I think, a lot of times now with a gym, and I'm just going to use LA Fitness, and I don't mean to throw them under the bus, but they do piss me off at times regarding a lot of things they do. But um, if you are getting ready to sign up for a gym, here's the thing. So if you, you're going to, first of all, do not ever cut the deal when you go to the gym. If you're going to a gym, Always ask for a seven to a two week trial period. If they say no, you only get one day, tell them to piss off. Or if they say, oh, we're well, only going to give you three days and you have to come three multiple days or else you can't use this pass, tell them to go fuck themselves. Because all you are is a number to them, okay? And the reality is you, you don't need them. There's many gyms out there, okay? They need you more than you need them. This isn't like you're going in for a car, and I, I went over this in the video. When you go for a car, they have a little more leverage on you because one, they have the car you want, which whatever. But not only that, it's financing gets a little involved and that gets a little tricky. When it comes to a gym, don't let anybody try to make it sound like they're offering you some unbelievable deal, but if you don't do it today, uh, we're not gonna have this special and all this bullshit. So what you wanna do is go try out the gym, obviously, for a week or two, and you wanna go out go do this at all different times. Because a lot of times during the day, you think a gym's great, and then you go there at night, and I call it like the roaches come out at night. All of a sudden, it's a whole different clientele of people. That's not, I'm not saying that from a racist element either. It's just some areas are bad. Your car could get broken into. Obviously, your lockers could get broken into. A lot of places are like that. And so I live in Orlando, Florida, and I literally go to two different LA fitnesses um, and two totally different clienteles at night. Um, just going literally uh, three miles down the road. It's just a whole different. It's a whole different vibe. Um, so, also, you want to talk to people before you join your gym. First of all, you want to talk to a few people. Hopefully, somebody referred you. Uh, they may even get a free, you know, month free or whatever. But you really want to figure out the pros and cons, and you want to ask as many people as you can. And you're going to ask these people even when you go work out for free at the gym and say, hey, what do you like about the gym and what do you not like? And you can actually even go a little further and say, hey, what do you pay a month? What do they charge you on the downstroke? And I'll use LA Fitness, for example. And this is a lot of shit. A lot of gyms pull. I'm not just, I'm not going to say this is LA Fitness. This is strictly them. That's not fair. But a lot of gyms do this. Um, they'll either try to hit you too hard in the downstroke. You know, they'll be like, oh, uh, we're heavy. It's 150 down and 30 a month. Then, literally two weeks later, they'll be like, okay, it's $99 down, uh, 32 a month. The next time, it's 50 down if you know somebody, and it's 32 a month. Whatever their bullshit is. Here's the deal for any gym, and I'm not talking for high-level gyms or for urban areas, New York, Chicago, LA. There's different, obviously, price ranges for exclusive gyms. I'm talking for standard gyms that are franchised everywhere. You do not want to put down more than 50 to $75. And you do not want to pay more than 30 a month. That's basically a dollar a day. That's how they fucking look at it. And that's how you should start looking at it. So now if you take a signature gym, but actually before I even get into the signature gym, so say we take LA Fitness, they have deals, they have like a four tier thing. 
And I work out in every LA Fitness in the country. I've worked out every 24-hour fitness. I've worked out in almost all the golds world. So um, I wouldn't do golds anymore, truthfully, because not that they're a bad gym. I love them. You, they're, they're just privately owned now. And I think there's not enough world gym. I don't even think there's a lot of world gym. I don't even see them. Maybe on the East Coast once in a while. Powerhouse here and there. They're all very few and far between now. Uh, but say... Some gyms will offer you this. Uh, you, if you want to work out only at this gym, it's fifty dollars down in twenty five a month. But you can only work out at that gym. Why would you join an LA Fitness, twenty four Hour Fitness, or any of these gyms if you can only work out at that gym? The main reason you're buying into that gym is because you want to use it in different areas. I would think. Now, if you only want to work out in one gym, that's fine. I would never do that because if you, not only if you travel, but if you drive to different parts of the town or you're in a different. Uh, whatever, and there's th that gym, why would you not be able to work at a gym you're a member to? Now you got to go spend $20 to go to another gym that you're already a member to. Anyways, so the second thing they're going to offer you is you can go to any gym in your state. Then that'll be like, oh, 50 or $75 down and 30 something a month, 30 whatever taxes. Be careful with that. They're going to try to jerk you, whatever. Then LA Fitness has like a third tier. Uh, that means you can go anywhere in the United States or Canada, I think maybe. And um, that's a more money down again and a little maybe more money a month, a little bullshit thing. Then they have signature gyms, which I'm a member of uh, because I actually live near Windermere. So, um, and truthfully, it's a good gym. It's one of the better ones in Florida. But a lot of gyms, just because they say they're signature gyms, all they really offer is towel service, a lot of them. They're really not a lot, you know, much better than a lot of other gyms. And I, I can assure you that of Southern California when I lived there, South Florida, even parts of um, just all parts of the United States. They have their signature line, which some are great. I'm not going to say they're not. Most likely, they're going to want you to put down more money, $150, $170. The thing I realized with a lot of signature gyms, and there's even one in Beverly Hills that I think is horrific, is you're paying for the area more than anything, just like anything else. The gyms, a lot of times, aren't always better or even more modern. Uh, you know, South Beach, for instance, that's a horrible LA Fitness signature, and you're you're paying that money. You go down the street, or you can go to Boca, Pompano, Lauderdale, and they, you know, a lot of other gyms. They blow that away, and they're not signature gyms. But the bottom line here is, when you go to cut your deal, do not cut the deal when you're there uh, to visit the gym. They're going to take you on a bullshit tour, then they're going to sit you down like a car dealership, and they're going to start throwing numbers at you. And especially if you're signing up with a girlfriend or you're married, or you have kids, you have all the leverage in the world. You are not, let me say this again, do not sign then and there. What you want to do is test the gym out, get as much um, time as you can working out, because I don't think working out a gym one time can determine if it's a good gym or not, because you may be doing a different body part. Uh, again, you want to see how busy the gym is different times of the day, and all these different things. And also, want to if you've got family members, or your you know, wife or girlfriend, you're going to want to see if they like it as well. But what you're going to do is you're going to test the gym first. You're going to cut your deal on the phone. That's where you're going to have all the leverage and not be aggravated as much. Because when you're sitting across from them, it just becomes very frustrating. And what you want to most likely do, if you're just joining an average gym, I would not put more than $50 down and do not pay more than $30 a month. If you do, it's on you. And if you do pay more, it better be a great gym. And for a signature gym, I kind of got caught in a bad position here. So I used to be a member of Bally. So when a lot of Bally's transferred to LA Fitness, then they didn't upcharge us. We got to keep the same rate we're getting, which I had a really good rate. But then when I wanted to join a signature gym, they jerked me and said, no, that doesn't work with signature. They wouldn't even say, okay, it's, um, I even was like, I'll just pay the rate. Whatever the rate is, I'll pay, which they want like $42. And uh, they're like, no, no, no way. Uh, you got to put down 220 whatever deal they wanted. Then it was 180 I told them to go piss the to go fuck themselves. Then it was like, I think I got them down to, I don't remember. I was in a bad pinch because I didn't uh, like the other gym near me that just opened up. It was on Kirkman Road. It was a brand new LA Fitness. It looks pretty similar to the other one. It, it's just a rougher area, truthfully. And my girlfriend didn't want to go there. And then her kids were joining. I, I also included my daughter. Paid for her. I got two daughters. They joined. So... Um, I, I really wanted to go to the signature gym. So I ended up, I forgot how much money I put down. Um, and I also traveled throughout the United States. And every time you go to a signature gym in LA Fitness, if you're not a member, they charge you five bucks. But uh, 
I think they wanted 47 and I think I got them down to $42 a month. Um, but here's the thing, they eat a lot of times too, when you're joining a gym and what you think you're getting, you end up getting screwed a lot of times. Be very, very careful. This happened with my daughter too, again with LA Fitness. I said, this is what I want and all I'm willing to pay. They said, fine. But then I come, and then when I was leaving, I said, I, I want you to know, I want her to be able to you know, work out in anywhere in the United States because I thought when they said anywhere in you know, first, I didn't know this. They had four tiers. I thought I wanted to be able to work out in any gym. What he did, he signed her up for the United States. I'm sorry, he signed her up for just Florida. He didn't do, you know, the United States or Canada. Like, and then I left, and all of a sudden I got upcharged. Another, I think it was fifty or seventy dollars. And I called him because it was supposed to be a hundred dollars down. That was it, and she can work out anywhere. And I kept saying anywhere, and he thought he meant anywhere in the state. And I said no, anywhere, anywhere. In, in, but it wasn't a signature because she didn't live near a signature. It didn't make sense for her. And if she did work out a signature, it was five bucks. But anyways, they jerked me for another seven bucks. Had to call them up. I was like, I'm going to cancel everybody. I got eight. I signed up eight people for you. So we ended up working it out. But here's the thing. Again, do not be taken advantage of when going to sign up for gyms. Okay. That goes for anything in life. And I don't want to sit here and be like Mr. Preacher to you. But don't let people intimidate you into doing deals you don't want to do. Um, and that definitely goes for a gym. I think a lot of people get scared too when you're going to sign up for a gym. You think it's going to cost you too much money. But if you look at it, I mean, you may have to put some money down, obviously. But if you look at your monthly fees, like I said, if they're a dollar a day, think of your health. You probably blow more on that on coffee, truthfully. Or you blow more money on one weekend going out to dinner and drinks than you're going to do for a monthly membership. Really consider joining a gym if you're on the fence. Just try to figure out things to do in a gym or just working out in general that are going to keep you motivated and keep you going. And if you go to a gym like LA Fitness, the good thing about those type of gyms is they have basketball, volleyball. You could swim, jacuzzi. You have sauna. You obviously have, you know, you have the, um, the different um, classes you could take. You know, they got the bicycle, the speed cycling, whatever that is. And obviously you have free weights and machines, elliptical, treads, all these different things. So try to find something you like. And again, don't get caught up in thinking you have to also go to a gym four to five times a week to stay in shape. Just aim for two or three at the beginning. Do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, take the weekend off. And as you get more into it, then you can start doing more two on one off or do whatever you feel like doing. But oh yeah, there's swimming as well. So did I mention that? So uh, anyways, I just thought I want, I, I just, it's been eating me alive for a long time because I just see my friends all the time saying, man, I joined the gym. I'm excited. I'm like, or they'll, after they sign up, they're like, what do you pay, dude? And I'll be like, I pay this. They're like, what? And they're like, oh, well, I thought I was getting a deal because of this, or it's Memorial weekend, or it's 4th of July special, or it's, and just be smart. And if you got teenagers, um, you know, you got kids, go to the gym with them and discuss the deal. And again, don't sign there, but don't just let your kids go to a gym. A lot of times they're going to be taken advantage of. They're going to, and that's most likely going to come out of your pocket. And they're also going to convince them a lot of times that they need a trainer or they got to pay for this or that or become a membership. Uh, and this will benefit them and this and all these different cons to upsell you. Your best bet definitely is to go with your kids or even if you're not working out and you got a girlfriend, wife or Whatever, go with them to make sure they're not taken advantage of. If you hear this podcast, uh, I'm going to wrap it up on that one. Again, don't let anyone take advantage of you when you're doing any deal in life, especially when joining a gym or buying a car or even buying a home for that matter. Uh, but take care and I wish you the best. And thanks again for uh, checking out my Rich Lindsay show. Uh, WTF are you talking about? Take care.